Hi and welcome to a Kirby Maths video all about thirds. So let's start off with the third notation. So first of all, if we have something like this, 3 root 5, then that means 3 lots of a square root of 5. When we multiply thirds together, so if we have root 3 times root 7, we can write that more simply as root 21. If the numbers inside the square root are the same, so root 5 times root 5, then the answer just becomes the number itself. Because if we did root 5 times root 5, that would be the square root of 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. If we are adding thirds, then as long as the third, the bit in the square root, is the same, then we can add them. So we could have 3 root 2 plus 2 root 2, and that would be 3 lots of root 2 plus 2 lots of root 2, which would be 5 lots of root 2. If, however, the numbers underneath the square root are not the same, then often you can't simplify it unless the numbers are quite big and you've simplified them already. So... Uh, root 3 plus root 5 cannot be simplified. In terms of simplifying thirds, there are two ways to do this. So let's have a look at the square root of 18 first of all. And we could write that as the square root of 2 times the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3, so this is 3 lots of root 2. So we can simplify that to write 3 lots of root 2. The other way we could do this is we could do a factor tree for 18. So 2 times 9, 3 times 3. If you have a pair of prime factors, they can come outside the square root sign and whatever is left goes inside the square root sign. So this one of these threes comes outside and then the two remains inside. So you can see you get the same answer, just two different ways of doing it. If we are expanding brackets with thirds, for example this, two take away root three times one plus root three, we are going to use our method for expanding brackets, our FOIL method, and it works out just the same, or you could use a grid method, method if you prefer that. So front, outer, inner, last. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times root 3 is 2 lots of root 3. Minus root 3 times 1 is minus root 3. And minus root 3 times root 3 is minus 3. Remember for what I said up here, root 3 times root 3 is going to be 3, so minus 3. Tidying up here, we can uh, tidy this up. We've got two lots of root 3, take away one lot of root 3, so that just leaves us with one lot of root 3, and it's positive. And we've got two, take away 3, so that leaves us with minus 1 overall. So the final answer is either minus 1 plus root 3 or root 3 minus 1. Thanks for watching.